So here I want to demonstrate the difference between Pracharya grass and Navia grass. Now, if you look at the Pracharya grass, its height is about four feet maximum. Okay? You can compare with the cabbages. The cabbages are here. And you can see one cabbage might be something like one foot maximum. Whereas the Pracharya grass is about, yeah, it's about four feet. So Pracharya grass does not grow tall like Nebia. Most of them grow up to something like four feet. Pracharya grass has thinner stems. You can see this, it's quite thin. Now look at the Nebia that is mature. Look at its stem, it's quite huge. And then Nebia also grows tall. In the background, you can see the tall nebia grass there. Okay? There. You can also see in that background, the other side there, you can see tall nebia grass, the bak chong, which I think has grown up to, uh, that one might be four meters, but it will go up to five meters. So back to Praetaria grass. This type of Praetaria is called Pasilic. This is a cultivar, it's not a hybrid. A cultivar is that one which has not been crossbred with any other grass. It's original grass, which existed as its own uh, 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 breed. It has never been changed. Its genetic has never been changed. That is a cultivar. It is, if you want to grow a cultivar, you, you will, it will still breed true to itself. But if you have a hybrid, there are some hybrid uh, varieties of Pracharya. One is called Molato 2, another one is called uh, Kaiman, another one is called Copra, and another one is called Camela. Okay? But this particular one is called Paselec, and it is a, a cultivar. There is also another cultivar which I can show you here, and it is bordering with media class. This type of Pracharya is called Piata. Piata. It's also a cultivar, it's not a hybrid. But I have other varieties which are hybrids, as I have said, and they are also in another field. So now the difference between these two types of grasses, the, 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 the Pracharya and the Nebia grass. Now this one, the population of this one is quite dense on the ground, but it is also quite soft to the cow. Okay, I also have another one called panicum, which is another variety of grass. Okay, but if you want to graze animals, you would rather establish bracharia because it's good for grazing. But at the same time, you can also cut and carry. You can also cut and make silage. But making silage from bracharia is quite complicated because if it, because it doesn't have much sugar compared to uh, some nebia grass or uh, maize. So, to make silage from nebia grass, from bracharia grass, you have to have a lot of sugar, add sugar, like molasses, like uh, maize flour, etc., etc. Et if you don't do that, the kind of anaerobic bacteria that will be in here are the so-called uh, the 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 the, the, the non I mean, lactic acid bacteria, because fermentation requires lactic acid bacteria. Okay, but here, this one can easily sustain butyric acid bacteria. So if you want to graze grass, I mean graze your animals, go to Pracharya. If you want to cut and carry, make silage, go to Nevia grass. Why panicum? Uh, is good. Panicum is another grass there. It is quite tough and it promotes uh, uh, it promotes uh, rumination in animals because it's quite tough. It has high fiber. But if you feed it too much too much fiber then the, the cows will, will have problems digesting. But you can use it to harden the feed. If you have lushy material like this, nebia grass, that is still young, 
you can add a bit of panicum. It increases the fiber in the in the feet, and the cows will do better. It will not lead to um, acidosis in animals. Okay, thank you.